Hi y'all, happy Friday. Andrea Ellis here, Feel Free Living LLC. How are y'all doing today? I'm a little tired today. I'm gonna try to get some rest on the weekend. Um, but uh, I wanted to come in today and um, the message that I received today is liking yourself. I'm just gonna get right into it, is um, liking yourself. You know, many people struggle with loving themselves. So, you know, how about just um, starting off with liking yourself, you know, find something about yourself um, that you enjoy, that you take pleasure in, that you um, think is of value. And the people I'm really addressing today with liking yourself, what came to my spirit was you're very focused on your faults and what's wrong with you. You're, you're super um, your mindset is really targeted on that. And, um, you know, you don't want to live that way. You know, we all have fault flaws. We are um, not sinless. You know, we all have areas we can develop and improve in. And hopefully you're on your journey in that. And if not, start be start a journey on that. But so we're flawed people. None of us are perfect. We all understand that. But the people that this is really for about, you know, liking yourself is you really focus on your flaws. You really focus on what's wrong with you. And God don't want you to do that. Of course, take accountability. You know, you want to take accountability. You don't want to be so um, nonchalant about your issues or so um, unaware. Uh, some of us are unaware until we become aware and then we can work on them. But you don't you don't want to be like um, putting your head in the sand about it but you also don't want to be so laser focused just on your flaws you need balance so you don't want to be on one end of the spectrum and the other and you kind of want to have some balance like i say take accountability you know if something is really off about you and you're getting that complaint or the lord has shown you or whatever try to try to work on that but don't get so bombarded with it in your mental space that you have a, a skewed view of who you really are. You know, you are more than just your behavior, you know, so you want to find the value about yourself. You know, God wants you to look at the value, he wants you to have a balanced view. He don't want you, the devil, to use your flaws or your mistakes to beat you up and make you think you're such a horrible person or um, condemnation again is coming up in my spirit. I that, that came up in my last broadcast and that wasn't planned, that was the Holy Spirit. So, you know, um, because if you get so bogged down about your flaws and what's wrong with you and your problems and your issues, you can really start getting into that kind of mindset about yourself and that's gonna give off certain energy, certain vibe and you're not going to feel good about yourself long term. So God wants you to start finding the value about yourself. Find like at least, you know, three things you like about yourself and um, start meditating on that. You know, really get that in your subconscious mind. And what came to my mind for the believers, you know, use the word of God to uh, rebuild your image on the inside. What God says about you in the word of God, take out. Uh, scriptures that really speak to you that really minister to you could just be one about who you are and just start meditating on that just start thinking on that over and over again start um, make an affirmation out of it pick something that really sticks out to you and really have an impact on you you know if you don't have an impact then don't but something you can really like hold on to and chew on that's one way to start like developing that you like in yourself or having more of a balanced view of yourself and not getting so stuck down in your such a horrible person kind of mindset. Another thing like, you know, some kind of self-development books, you know, you could read or um, listen to audio. And another thing came up in my spirit about this is if you're around people that are validating or affirming, I should say, affirming how horrible you are, or in a relationship romantically that is affirming how horrible you are, you need to get around at that because that's part of what's 
pulling down how you feel about yourself and your self-esteem and your confidence and how you see yourself and you not liking yourself. So if you're in relationship, even around family member, that's constantly saying things, doing things that's, that's speaking to you how horrible you are, you got to get rid of that, you guys. You got to take some distance from that. People that you need to cut off with that, you need to cut off. Because if they're fueling that toxicity and fueling that um, 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 thinking about you, then that's not going to help you. You know, that's going to just self-sabotage everything that you, you're going to be trying to do to rebuild your image and to start liking yourself and walk in a correct image of yourself. You know what I mean? So cut off the wrong type of relationships that's going to self-sabotage that process. You need to be around people that are going to pour into you, not tear you down. You know, and if you have to be alone, you know, whether it's romantically or just friendships, if you have to be alone for a season, be alone. Learn to uh, be alone and be comfortable with that as well. You know, um, when you learn, when you can learn to just be by yourself uh, for a period of time, a lot of times you will, it will force you to dig in deeper on the inside instead of looking on the outside to get acceptance from people. So for some people that is needed. Some of us, some people, they jump from, in the romantic sense, jump from relationship to relationship to, re they never take time to themselves. So they never get to love themselves, learn themselves, heal, um, or anything like that. They just going from one thing to the other and creating the same patterns or attracting the same people. Sometimes the solution is you need to just chill out, like cut that off, like be by yourself for a season. Be by yourself for a season until you can come back into collaboration or um, relationship with people. Um, I mean, not necessarily romantically, but I mean have relationships with people, you know, it could be friendships or whatever. So you guys, um, you know, God don't want you to get focused on what's wrong with you and your faults. He want you to take accountability and do your part, but he also wants you to love yourself. He wants you to see the good in yourself. There is good in all of us, you know, and I always, you know, when anyone like compliment me or something about a characteristic of myself, I really give glory to God first and foremost. But in a, a lot of times we have to partner with God to develop those things. You know what I mean? We have to partner with God. Like if you are a more kinder person today than you were before you were like a believer and God helped you in your love walk, you know, um, you had to work with God to develop that in you. So it becomes a part of you. If you really were like a very fleshly carnal person and maybe not too nice to be around. So you had to partner with God, but the source of it is the Lord. The source of it is the Lord, but we have to a lot of time partner with God to even develop um, good things about us. Some of us just instinctively have certain ways of ourselves that is really honorable and that is from God as well. So just acknowledge those things about yourself. Stop beating yourself up. Stop focusing this sin on your faults and what's wrong with you in a way where it's really too much, where it's skewing how you really see yourself in a balanced way. God wants you to start liking yourself. So work on that. Um, work on getting affirmations. Um, that you say to yourself every day, meditating on certain scripture or things that you read, read stuff, you know, that help builds you up. Watch things that help build you up. Even if you could be a part of a class that helps you in that process, whatever that is for you, or even going to therapy. Um, you know, some people just need the help in um, healing and that will help them see themselves in a better light whatever that is for you. But if you're in relationships that are really um, counterproductive to what I'm saying, you need to come out of those as well. You know what I mean? Because they're going to let you self-sabotage your whole process. So you guys, my name is Andrea Ellis again. I love you guys. I'll see you guys on Monday. Enjoy the holiday. I know it's Memorial uh, weekend and, um, you know, be good to yourself, you guys. And see a balanced approach about who you are in God. See yourself in a balanced approach. If you need help, uh, you need coaching, 
but overcoming fear and even things like this you know when a lot of my coaching de will go deeper into a lot of healing situations so it'll help you have develop a better identity about yourself so if you need help with this if this message really speaks to you and you need coaching um with this overcoming fear people pleasing people addiction people approval addiction or um which is you really depend on people's acceptal and approval of you uh you know work with me um the link is in my bio for a free consultation and we'll see if we're a good fit okay you guys so i love you guys um if you guys want change want results you know you need to invest in yourself in whatever ways that is for you so i'll see you guys on monday y'all blessings love y'all bye